conocer nosotros, los parientes de los estudiantes. Gracias que están aquí con nosotros. We are so excited. Uh, this is indeed a very special, special day for our students, for their families, for Texas Southmost College, for Campbell Enfels, and for the city of Brownsville and surrounding communities that we serve. I've got to tell you that we've been looking forward to this day. Our students are the ones who are going to benefit the most. Their lives are going to be transformed forever. They will go to heights unknown that they don't probably imagine at this point in time. Nos da mucho gusto estar aquí esta mañana con ustedes. Los estudiantes que están aquí esta mañana van a tener un futuro maravilloso. Y el futuro de ellos va a impactar la, las, las familias, ustedes, uh, sus, sus, uh, sus hermanos, sus hermanas, sus nietos, bisnietos, toda la familia va, van a cambiar por lo bueno. So gracias que están aquí uh, con sus, sus uh, estudiantes, con sus hijos y sus hijas. Uh, nos da mucho gusto. We have a, a, a wonderful ceremony today. Uh, we have some wonderful guests. I'd like to introduce uh, our board member, Dr. Reynaldo Garcia, sir. Thank you for being here. We have our, our honorable representative, Eddie Lucio III. Thank you, sir. We have a very special guest here with us, Mr. Simon Lee. Mr. Simon Lee, he's the CEO of Temple Anfield. Thank you for being here. We have our wonderful partner, Dr. Montoya, and board member, Menia Peña. Thank you for being here, both of you. I know that they have many members from the BISD here as well. We have TSC members here. We also have our wonderful partner, Mr. Pat Hobbs. Mr. Pat Hobbs with Texas uh, uh, Workforce Chairman Solutions. Thank you. I'd like to get started because, you know, today really is all about our students. So uh, if I'd like to, I'd like to ask uh, uh, Mr. Simon Lee. Uh, oh, no, Mr. Uh, Steven Sanchez to please come up for the invocation. Thank you, Mr. Sanchez. Uh, let's bow our heads, please. Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity to gather together and celebrate the hard work of these, these brave young men and women. We ask for your blessing upon these strong individuals who endured nine weeks of intense training. Please bless their efforts as they begin their career and become contributing members of this great garden spot of America. Father, we ask that you guide them as they move forward in their careers and begin their own families. Help them lead their homes with integrity and lead by example in the workplace. And finally, we ask for wisdom. In the book of James, chapter 1, verse 5, it says, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. So, Father, I ask on behalf of everyone sitting in this auditorium today, please grant us wisdom. We pray, believing in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to play a uh, video for Keppel Amphels, and it, uh, it's my understanding that it is a brand new video. They have not seen this yet. It's first for everybody. Offshore and Marine, 
will leverage more than 40 years of experience and technology to reach new frontiers in deeper oceans and unexplored territories. Very exciting. At this time, I'd like to welcome uh, our partner in this welding program, uh, the President and CEO of Keppel Landfills, Mr. Simon Lee. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Now, before I begin, as part of our Keppel uh, culture, we always start with a safety moment. Uh, I'd like to share one important safety moment with you that I think most of you are driving into the yard and most of you notice that in the front of the yard there is a traffic light please delay for a few seconds before you take off when it's green because this is a brand new traffic lights and the highway 48 has always been the highway so people tends to just keep on going without stopping so when you leave here I like you to stop for a few seconds even though it's green Look to your left, look to your right, make sure you're safe before you take off. Okay? Now, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome and thank you for being here at Kappa and Fells today. This is such a great event for all of us. Kappa and Fells take pride in partnering with Texas Southmost College, Brownsville Independent District. School District, Workforce Solution Cameron, and community leaders to make this day possible. With our team building the future and excellence through people, as you can see outside the yard, we know that investing in life of people in our community is what makes our business and community grow stronger now and future. As a global leader in the industry, as you can see our corporate videos, Kappa Amphel understand that this type of programs result in a skilled workforce and that is what makes us who we are today. 
Kappa M Fels has been established for 25 years here in Brownsville. And we will continue to grow. In Kappa M Fels, safety, security, and productivity is everyone's business, including our visitors. Safety is our first priority. We execute our jobs safely without incidents. We want our people to come to work safely and return home safely. We want all our people to continue cultivate the safety culture and the can-do attitude to make us all successful. Today, these students are being recognized for their commitment to complete the course and being the first graduating welding class. <laughs> this class was developed in a response to a growing demand for welders and through the commitment, teamwork and efforts of various individuals and organizations, we are not only have graduating students, but some of these students are now part of Kappa MFL family. This may be the first class, but it will not be our last. Let us continue to build the future together, together with the community leaders, the agency, the school district, and thank you for the opportunity to be part of this. Thank you. Thank you, President Lee. Uh, at this time, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, our state representative of District 38, uh, the Honorable Eddie Lucio III. Good morning. Uh, it's an honor to be here today. Uh, some of you I spent the week with in Austin. It's good to see you again. Uh, but let me first start off by congratulating all the partners involved in the success of these graduates today. Of course, our host, Kempel Amphels, thank you. Been a great corporate citizen in Brownsville for many years now. Uh, and we have been the beneficiaries of your generosity and being obviously a big employer in our area. Uh, Brownsville Independent School District, which I'm a product of, Thank you for all the great things you're doing to, to bring the best education to our citizens. TSC uh, also has, has been a, a wonderful Brownsville and community-wide, community uh, region-wide tradition. Uh, and you're always raising the level of excellence at your institution. Workforce Solutions, Cameron, assisting us in making sure everybody has an opportunity to be employed and provide for their families. All great, important partners uh, that made today possible. I, I wanted to share a few numbers with you, and I, I, I received this report from the Port of Brownsville's administrative office regarding the significance of the port uh, as a whole, not, not only our, our, our great partner here, Kemp, Kempa Landfills, but what the port as a whole means to South Texas. Number one, both indirect, induced, direct, and related jobs that are created and exist because of what we do at the port is 21,590. So because of the Port of Brownsville's health and because of what we do to sustain our operations here, 21, roughly almost 22,000 people are employed in this community. Total income, direct, indirect, and all the other uh, factors that go into that that are based or are uh, started here at the port is $1.6 billion worth of income generated because of our operations. So the port is significant, uh, but from what I'm being told and what efforts we're making, we've just really reached the tip of the iceberg in terms of our potential here. The availability of land, the plans to deepen the port, and do other things, means the potential is much greater. But we can only have that potential if we're educating people to secure those jobs and work in those positions so that we can attract industry. Texas is a great place to do business. Our taxing structure, our climate, our quality of life, people want to be in Texas. But we compete with not only 
our neighbors, but all over the state as to where people are going to make that investment. And a huge part of that is the workforce. So the work that you're doing to fill those jobs that are needed to attract businesses to the area is critical. Let me say a few things to the graduates. First, congratulations. Uh, to your families, congratulations. I'm sure you owe a tremendous amount of gratitude and debt to the, to the people who made today possible for you. Uh, when I was a young man graduating, I know how grateful I was to my family who made sure I had what I needed so I can go to school and get a job and do everything. Um, to the ladies especially, congratulations. Uh, being in the welding profession has not been a traditional uh, means of employment for, for a woman. And having being a father of a young daughter, I really like girls going out there and doing great things. So uh, you're, you're really setting a trend, I hope, for people that are going to diversify in these positions. We need engineers. We need uh, various uh, diversity in fields that have traditionally been filled by men. Uh, and so thank you for being leaders and, and choosing this profession. Uh, let me just say this. We, we have a tough session. I'm going to Austin, but I want to make sure that we do our very best to make sure that this community continues to grow. We, we highlighted Brownsville uh, while we were in Austin this week, and people are really excited about this community. Uh, and I think that it is our turn to really experience what I've been calling a renaissance. Uh, and the next 10, 15, 20 years look really bright for this community. And this program is part of that. So with that, I want to thank you. I unfortunately now have to head to Westlaco for another commitment. So please excuse that I'm leaving a few minutes early. But I wish you all the success in the world. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Representative Lucio III. Thank you. Uh, at this time, for the reason we're here, uh, is to honor these young, uh, young men and women and uh, present them with their certificates. So if I can have uh, Dr. Flores, please come to the podium. Dr. Tercero, if you'd please come to the podium uh, for the presentation of the certificates. Thank you, Mr. Sanchez. And now for the moment that we all have been waiting for, the presentation of the certificates by our president, Dr. Lily F. Tercero, who will be assisted by Mr. Steven Sanchez. Se ha llegado el gran momento, la presentación de los certificados, por la doctora Lily F. Tercero y el señor Steven Sanchez. I ask that you help me acknowledge each graduate as they come forward to receive their certificates. Les pido que den un gran aplauso cuando se presente el certificado. Los nombres son, and now for the names, Paul Cepeda. Carla del Fierro. Jocelyn Gutierrez.
Nancy Valdivez. And last but not least, Jonathan Chitika. And now, if we may have all the graduates stand, please, and face your family. Levante, por favor. And we may acknowledge them all as a group. I'd like to end today um, by, take, by thanking our special guests for their heartfelt remarks. President of uh, Keppel Anfels, Simon Lee, thank you. Then thank you for collaborating with Texas Southmost College. Uh, I am confident this will be the first of many graduation ceremonies. And State Representative Eddie Lucio III, uh, I'd like to thank him for celebrating with us today, even though he's got a very, very hectic schedule. Thank you so much for being here. I want to thank all of our partners here today, Brownsville Independent School District, thank you, Dr. Montoya, Ms. Peña, thank you, uh, Workforce Solutions Cameron, Mr. Hobbs, thank you for being here today, uh, Brownsville Economic Development Council uh, for their support and uh, for all these partners for their support in making this uh, program a successful one. I especially want to thank uh, the president of Texas Southmost College, Dr. Lily F. Tercero, for her warm welcome and kind words. Thank you, Dr. Tercero. I first met Dr. Tercero at a presentation about three years ago. My impression of her then is the same today. Very passionate. One word, passionate. She is passionate about our students and about our community, and it is contagious, as you can see today. This is a result of that passion. Because of that passion, TSC is well on its way to fulfilling our mission, transforming our communities through innovative learning opportunities. Thank you. This concludes our ceremony, but before we dismiss, and we do have refreshments here to the, off to the side for everybody, but I'd also like to call the graduates up to the front, Dr. Tercero uh, and our partners, Simon Lee, uh, Mr. Montoya, uh, Mr. Hobbs, you come up and take uh, some last pictures with our graduates today. Thank you. Thank you.